I've got my oxygen and acetylene tanks here, and I've got the hose right there. I'm going to show you how to assemble it and disassemble it the right way. Step one, make sure your valves are all the way closed. I'd be concerned if they were already open when you have them set up, because you'd probably be losing all your gas. The regulators are color coordinated, oxygen is always green, and your fuel is always going to be red. If you can't tell the color of it, the acetylene will always have notches in the nut. The oxygen doesn't have those. So first just hand tighten it in. I kind of wobble the regulator up and down to make sure I'm not tightening it when it's skew. So when it's straight it'll tighten more. Nice and tight. I'll take a wrench and tighten it the rest of the way. You want it to be firm but don't overdo it. Later on we'll see if it has a leak and we need to come back and tighten it. Next is the acetylene, so we'll do the same thing. Next, make sure the valves on your torch end are all the way closed. Nice and tight. Now you want to make sure that your hose pressure is all the way out, nice and loose. When you tighten it, it'll increase the pressure. So you want it to be out, but not so far out that it falls off. Next up, we're going to put pressure from the tanks to the regulator. We just want to open up a quarter to half a turn. And when I open them, I'm going to open it very slowly and gently. If I were to open it really aggressively, it could put pr too much pressure into the regular and cause it to explode. So it's always best to go nice and slow so the pressure can build up gradually in the regulator. And once you see that dial go up, you know there's pressure being sent to the regulator. Sometimes you'll hear a little hiss. I'm going to increase my acetylene to a 5. 5 pressure on this side. Again, going nice and slow. Then I'm going to set the oxygen to about a 7. Now if you smell acetylene, that might mean you have a leak, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn them both back off. Nice and firmly all the way off. I'm going to wait a couple of minutes and I'm going to watch the regulators. If you start losing pressure, that means you have a leak somewhere and you need to tighten it back down. It's been about 30 seconds and I've lost most all pressure from the acetylene tank, so I probably have a leak right there. But on the oxygen, it looks like that's all the way tight. I haven't seen that meter go down at all from either side. And because I have an adapter set up to this, I'm going to tighten all these down a little bit further to see if that'll fix the leak. Now I'll put pressure back into the acetylene, again going nice and slow. I'll wait a couple of seconds and I'll turn it back off. I'll do the same with the oxygen. When I opened that up I didn't see that needle move at all, so that probably wasn't any leak so the same amount of pressure was in there when I turned off the valve as when it was on. So we're all good on the oxygen. Now we're turning back off the acetylene, and we're going to watch that meter to see if it goes back down again. Alright, it's been a couple of minutes, and the pressure is still in the acetylene and in the oxygen after turning them both off. So we know there's no pressure being lost from the tank, through the regulator, or through the torch yet. Now once you're done using the gases, to turn them off, you start with the cylinder valve, turn that all the way down, same with the acetylene. All the way nice and tight and you leave the hose valves 
still on. So they still have pressure going from this segment to this segment. Then you take your torch and let out all the gas. Now that that's all the way out, you loosen up your hose valves. And there we go. That's how you assemble your hoses to your tanks and how you turn off the gases once you're done using them. I hope this helped, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll be happy to answer them.